Hello Digital Monkey School students. In this video, I want to talk about how to change color for your subsurface scattering. I'm going to delete this material and I'm going to create a new material for my needle. Let me make this needle green, Control V. I copied this from my old material, plug this in. Let's call this new needle and go for a second back to old needle. This particular material catches light and that light is being scattered and that what creates this very pretty glow. The difference between the old needle and the new needle is that I don't have subsurface scattering turned on. I'm going to go to subsurface and now here I have something called weight and that controls how much of subsurface scattering we're going to get. I'm going to go ahead and crank it up all the way to one. The subsurface scattering material is brown, it's not green. If you look at the shader, there is nothing here under a subsurface that indicates field control on the color. What does control the color is the radius. This is just the color of your uh, subsurface scattering. And those values are simply RGB colors. Top one is red and this one is green and this one is blue. If I want my needle to be green, this is red, I'll just reduce this number 0.5 and it immediately became less brown. And then this is green, I can increase that maybe to 0.7. Now it's very, very green, make that 5. Blue can stay the same or if you add it, if you increase it, it becomes a little bit bluer. I hope you learned something new today. We're Digital Monkey School. Please like this video and subscribe and I will talk to you in my next tutorial.